Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal, and today I am excited to be working in my traveler's notebook, and I'm going to be using some stamp sets from Close to My Heart. I did want to mention that Close to My Heart is having a huge stamp sale uh, in the month of March, so definitely take a look. I will link it in the description box for you, but if you have your eye on any stamp set, this is the time to purchase it from close to my heart. I'm gonna be using three different stamp sets. I'm documenting my niece turning seven. So I grabbed the Moxie alphabet. I also grabbed the here and now stamp set and the over the moon. These are gonna be perfect for documenting a birthday. And I love the boldness of the alpha. So that's why I chose the Moxie. Now all these stamps that I'm using today are on sale as well. But like I said earlier, Definitely take a look at the website because there's loads of other stamp sets that are on sale. Now, I'm going to be documenting this 4x6 photo of the family wearing our party hats and just having fun. And I wanted the photo to go across my two pages. I went with this confetti paper because it just fit perfectly. And I purposely left that gap on the side of my photo so I can use my large alphas to stamp out party. And I wanted to also use that here and now stamp set and it has like big words. So I made sure to leave that space so party can fit. And if I end up using any of those fun words to also fit as well. So once I stamp out party, I'm gonna grab the Over the Moon stamp set to stamp Houston, we have a birthday. I love that little stamp from that stamp set. I just feel like it's the perfect stamp for a birthday and I usually use it all the time on birthday spreads. So I'm just gonna grab that stamp and stamp it on the opposite side because I do wanna balance out my black ink because there's a lot of black inking on the right. And I will grab the Hey and Now stamp set to stamp fun, fun, fun. I wanted this layout to look like a young girl's birthday layout, uh, but not too themey, if that makes sense. And these words were just perfect for that. And I ended up stamping it right underneath party. And to bring in a little bit of funness to my title, I'm going to stamp this party hat right above my R. This is a Studio Calico stamp set, and I just felt like it fit perfectly, added the perfect amount of color, and it filled out that space. Now, the Here and Now stamp set had like a burst, and I love using these to add a little something to my title. So I basically add one to the top and one to the bottom, and it just added the perfect little touch to my title. I'm gonna go ahead and stick down my photo. And like I said earlier, I do want my photo to go across the two pages. So I'm just gonna have to trim it down and I just make sure that I'm trimming it down properly. I do end up cropping my niece's face, which is pretty sad. I didn't notice that when I like imagined this photo going across two pages, but it's not a big deal. Um, I did document her birthday on other projects or in other projects, so I'm okay with that. I do want some space for journaling. So I'm going with a label. I have been you trying to use my labels more often for journaling just because I have so many labels and I do want to use them. And they're just the perfect touch. They add a pop of color and they just look much neater. So anyways, I ended up adding it to the top of my photo. I added my journaling on sticker paper. And now I'm just using that arrow from the here and now stamp set to point to my photo. I just thought it was cute and like a little fun touch for my title and layout. Now, when I was looking at the spread, I felt like it wasn't colorful enough on the right side. And I thought to myself, I could use this washi tape from Studio Calico to look like confetti. It's really like little circles with a black outline and it doesn't really match the confetti from the opposite side but it worked. I don't know what it was, maybe because they were almost the same color. They just looked like they fit and completed the spread and add the perfect pop of color that I was looking for. I even add some to the edge of my layout on purpose so it looks like pattern paper. 
I'm going to trim them off and I will still use the trimmed off washi tape on the spread because I don't waste anything and I just love that pop. I'm so happy I decided to use that washi tape and give it a try. Now I'm almost done with my layout. I'm just going to use a word sticker to add to my photo. I felt like it just needed a little something there. I will punch my holes for my discs. As you guys know, this year I've switched my traveler's notebooks into disc bound and I'm loving it. Then I can call my layout done. Don't forget there's a huge sale at Close to My Heart. If you have a stamp set in mind or you want one of these stamp sets, Grab it now while they're on sale. It's such a good sale. And I use Beth Ann uh, as my consultant. So any purchases that I make from Close to My Heart, I use her. She has fast shipping. She's amazing. And I definitely recommend her. And as always, I have her links down in the description box for you. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.